Hi, Mark Diaz here for 2DAnimation101.com. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you how you can do very fluid animations super duper quick when you have motion tracker for Cartoon Animator 4. Let's get it started. Now, in case you're watching this outside our school, you can join this class if you go to 2D101.com forward slash motion cap and then you'll arrive with to this page where th is this video and below you can download the project files you should get this project file motion capture animation this is the one that we're gonna use i'm gonna just copy the dire the directory the folder here open in cartoon animator and then open this file motion capture animation start okay after you open the file this is what we're getting okay and now I'm gonna show you how to set up everything for motion capture for this you need to download the you need a cartoon animator pipeline plus two other plugins two add-ons motion cap and phase 3d okay the, those are the three elements let me show you if you go to 2d101.com forward slash CA4, which stands for Cartoon Animator 4, you get to here where you can download the free trial of Cartoon Animator 4 Pipeline, then Motion Live, and then Phase 3D. You need those three components. Once you have everything installed, you can follow up with this lesson. Now, I'm going to stop this video right now to disable the camera and then reopen with Face Tracker. Okay, let me shut down this camera. There you go. Now I'm going to open Face 3D, which is here. You can see that it's already tracking my face. I didn't do anything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Cartoon Animator and then resize it to have it at this size. Le I'm showing you how to set up the workspace, okay? Now let's take the, I'm going to click on plugins, motion live, this is the plugin, and then motion live 2D. This is the plugin we need. Now let me make this smaller and extend this like so, and there you go. That's how I like to set up the my workspace, okay? Now for this, I'm not actually going to use content manager. I'm going to click on close and then close the scene manager also. Whenever you want it out, you can just press F4 and then F5 and you have both. Okay, I'm pressing F4 and F5 again. And now I can start preparing this character. This character is already rigged. In a course we have, I teach you uh, how to rig the character for uh, the eyes and everything and all the face so you can create characters like this. If you're interested, you can go to 2D animation, no, 2D101.com forward slash animation. That link will take you here where you can take uh, this course in which I teach you how to prepare characters like this one. Okay, so now let's get it started. I have this character selected, so now I'm going to click on face, the select gear, and then I'm going to select face 3D. That's it, super easy. Now I click on face and now this thing is linked. Now for this, I'm going to remove my eyeglasses <laughs> I'm going to be blind most of the tutorial, so I'm going to be getting close to my screen so I can see. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to press on preview, and then there, there it is. As you can see, the, th this character is looking a little bit to the side. So while I'm previewing, I'm going to look straight to the camera, and then I'm going to click on set zero pose. There you go. Now, as you can see, the character is vibrating. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on smooth head. There you go. Now it's smooth. I can look up, down, and to the sides. Perfect. Now I'm going to also add a little bit of animation to the rest of the body. How? Well, I can just click on set gear for body. Oh, it's not letting me because I need to press space to stop. Oh, by the way, when you want to preview, just click on preview and then you click space. All right. I don't think I told you. Then I'm going to click on select gear, then face 3D for body, and then activate the body. There you go. 
Now from these options, I'm going to click on breath and it's going to be human. The speed is going to be 100 and smooth is going to be smooth body. Let's preview. I'm going to press preview, set the key. And as you can see, the scale of the face became really, really small and the body looks weird, right? So the first thing I want to do is set the scale to maybe 20. Let's see. That is a little bit better. Okay. Now I'm going to set zero pose. There you go. And then go to face again. Let's click on face and then set zero pose while I'm looking at the camera. There you go. Now this character is ready. So now I can move a little bit to the side, to the other side, and then I can start explaining. And I'm moving, look, it has a little bit of squatch and stretch. You see? So it's very cool. I can be talking. Talking, I, I, when I look at the character, <laughs> the eyes also move from one side to the other, right? So it's super cool. It's also tracking my iris. And if I want to record anything, I can just go to phase right here. I'm going to press stop the preview and then the I um, can activate the lip sync. Make sure the mi the microphone you're using is this the good the settings you need. Okay? For me it's an um, audio profile and I'm going to activate lip sync. Instead of real time, I'm going to use post process. That's the way I like it. And now let's press record and now this character is gonna be is gonna start hey my name is philip welcome to this video animation or tutorial or whatever super cool now let's go back is 379 frames L i'm going to activate the settings and change this change the length to 379 and by the way now i'm gonna put on my glasses <laughs> so i don't force my sight there you go press ok now let's play it let's see hey my name is philip welcome to this video animation or tutorial or whatever super cool right all of that was made in a couple of minutes. I didn't have to do anything. If you want to do uh, animations that are made for explainer videos, this is a great tool. You see, super duper easy. All I did was hit play. Now for this, I recommend you have a script just below the, the camera so you can be reading the scripts for your explainer videos. So this is super great. You can do very fast animation and you don't have to struggle anything when you have a webcam and all the plugins set up. Now you know how to do it. Great. That's it for this lesson. Now, until next time, this is Mark Diaz for 2D Animation 101. Take care.